Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another message of the day. Today is 26th of October and let's see what the cards have to show for today. So the very first card is Buddha, then the Kama, Kama Dev who was there yesterday also talking about your wishes and desires. And then we have Skanda. There are two cards here and they are somehow inseparable and they I was trying to put one back and okay Ardhanareshwar and Skanda this speaks volumes here and they don't want to get separated so I'll, I won't keep them separately then Natraja okay these three are very special cards for me and then Surya interesting interesting combination of cards so What I'm seeing here is that you are witnessing a lot of duality in your life. Merc Buddha, also Mercury astrologically, shows a lot of duality. Duality, whether you are on the right path, whether you are doing, whether you should go left, right, which is right for you. Whether you should go straight, stand there, or whether you should go backward. What is right for you? You are confused. There's a lot of duality. And especially uh, this Kama card coming back, Kama Dev card coming back yesterday, uh, from yesterday, what is telling here is that very clearly you have very strong feelings and desires about a certain goal or aspiration in your life and which is totally, totally bothering you. And <laughs> what the cards here... Uh, especially the Ardhanareshwa card here is saying, which also talks about duality, like yin and yang Ardhanareshwa, which is talking to you that leave it to destiny. Everything is possible. You want to have something in your hand and you also are not confident what to do after having something in your hand and you are a little undecisive. But then the combination of Skanda here, who is god of war and like this is Ardhanareshwar, Shiv and Parvati from Hindu mythology combined together in one body and Kartike is son of Shiv and Par Parvati which uh, who is a achiever who wants to go out and achieve things and he since the cards were inseparable it is more like the parents are telling that it's good to be an achiever go out and achieve things with your diplomacy with your uh, courage with your willpower but sometimes you should allow things to happen and that's what they are telling and uh, they also have uh, say they're bringing that message here that you need to be sometimes little more thoughtful and just more trusting of the universal plans and don't meddle with them don't uh, push them here and there because it's happening in a way for a reason and that reason is very important so don't push things beyond a certain point and then the Natraja is saying that whatever you want will happen because the cosmos is playing that dance for you it is for you it's not against you it's playing for you it will help you fulfill all your wishes just have confidence if you don't have confidence and if your wishes still get fulfilled you would be no way to manage those su that success you will be a victim of your own success and that's the reason why things have to happen in a certain way and let it happen and then we have the last card uh, Surya the sun god saying that today you will also have an understanding about how and why things are happening that way it's not that you have to just trust 
that everything will happen for the best and will happen for you. But no, you would also, the sun god will remove all the darkness, will shed all the light and you would know how and why something is happening in your life. So you would understand it very well. So that's the reading for today. I think it's a good place to close this. If you want to have a personal reading with me, visit my website astraluck.com. The link is given below. Thank you so much. Bye-bye and Namaste.